hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my talk about the Nextcloud VM. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I'm the developer of the Nextcloud VM. Um, and today's talk will be a little bit about the history uh, behind the VM, why, why I decided to, to make the VM from the beginning. Uh, also, the present uh, state of the VM and the future, uh, what I think will happen in the future, uh, and also a little bit about who am I. So, I came from uh, Windows and Dropbox back in 2013. I didn't know anything about Linux. Uh, I mean, sudo. Uh, what was that? Um, I, um, I decided to... Uh, I mean, privacy and, and, and integrity have always been like questions that are important for me. Uh, and I mean, using Dropbox to, to store all your files, all your personal photos and everything like that in, in one single place felt kind of like insecure. So I started to, to uh, look around for options um, and I found OwnCloud back then because Nextcloud was founded in 2016. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I didn't have any Linux, Linux skills and I, I tried to install it and it was pretty hard. I mean, uh, Apache and uh, you needed a server and you needed like a bunch of stuff that I didn't have any clue uh, about at all. Um, so in the beginning I, I was mostly like uh, reporting bugs to the server repository of OwnCloud um, and I got help uh, installing uh, my first OwnCloud server. Um, and uh, yeah, here is me sitting uh, with uh, three computers, like trying to figure out how everything worked <laughs> back in 2013. So I, I re reinstalled the server probably like 25 times or even more than that. And if you accumulate all the time I spent on Google, it's probably like six months or something like that. I mean, awake from like, uh, you know, when I quit my work until l uh, early in the morning. Um, so. I started to script the installation instead to, to get the same result all the time. And I started to do that in, in 2014 because I noticed there, there was a, uh, a need for it. I mean, there were more people like me uh, that wanted to install their own cloud, but they didn't know how to do it. Um, so uh, the first VM that I made was based on around uh, 10 scripts. Uh, very easy, like up to get install and stuff like that. Um, and around 300 lines of, of bash code. Uh, my first public VM uh, I, I presented in, in uh, or I released in different forums and stuff. I didn't have a web page back then. And it got popular uh, pretty quickly. Um, and I got more server resources because I was running this out of my uh, old HTPC. Uh, so I, I needed an, a new server. And uh, yeah, like I said, apparently I wasn't the only one with installing uh, issues installing because I mean I got several downloads per day, and and, and I also noticed after after some time that uh, yeah it got more popular. So I attended the OwnCloud conference back in 2015 uh, where I presented the VM, uh, and yeah I got good response. I mean uh, one of the uh, developers of OwnCloud uh, posted this uh, tweet that uh, it was one of the most important thing that happened to OwnCloud that year, uh, that you could, uh, yeah, just download uh, the, the OwnCloud VM and uh, then you had your own server. Um, so I published, uh, yeah, time went, and, and uh, as you may know, uh, Nextcloud was, uh, uh, OwnCloud was forked by its own inventor, Frank Kaltyshek. And uh, yeah, he created Nextcloud. Um, and, uh, they asked me if I wanted to uh, yeah, uh, do their, their virtual machine, which I said yes to. Um, so uh, in 2016, I, I published all my bash uh, codes, uh, or my, my bash uh, yeah, that I wrote uh, in their own, uh, in, in Nextcloud's uh, uh, repository. Uh, over the time, I made different versions of the VM. Uh, the, the, the free and standard version is 40 gigabytes. Uh, then you have different options as well, like you can download a, a 500 gigabyte version, you can download a one terabyte version and, and uh, two terabyte version, and also for, for Hyper-V, um, which you can find in the shop. Um, the present state uh, of the VM is that it uh, helps you do a full installation. Uh, you can uh, yeah, 
uh, Nextcloud um, is uh, not only like a Dropbox or not only a cloud. Uh, but you can also uh, do some online editing if you want to. You can uh, use uh, yeah, Elasticsearch for all the files. Uh, you, you can uh, uh, you have contacts, you have calendar, you have like everything. Uh, y y I, I would compare it to um, maybe like Google Apps or something like that, where you have everything in one place. So it's it's rather rather than like just a cloud service, it's an ecosystem of, of apps together uh, that makes it uh, complete, I would say. Uh, so this is some of the apps that uh, you, you can install uh, with the scripts and that are included in the VM as well. Uh, the full list is, is available on, on GitHub. So it's easy to deploy and, and the whole thought uh, about the VM was to, to make it possible and to make it easy for people to install Nextcloud themselves. Uh, I mean, my target audience is, is people coming from Windows that doesn't have a clue, like I didn't have a clue back in 2013, uh, on how to install uh, a Linux server. Uh, with this, uh, it's possible to just download an OV OVA file, uh, run the initial script, and voila, you have your own server, uh, prepared with, with SSL and, and all the different uh, security measures as well. Uh, so that's one option. You can download OVA. You can also go to GitHub and uh, run the scripts for yourself. Uh, the only thing you need is a server, like a barebone server, or a virtual machine uh, which runs Ubuntu. Uh, I chose Ubuntu because Ubuntu is the uh, distribution that I am uh, most familiar with since I started out with that. Um, so, and, and it's also tested on VMware, uh, VirtualBox, uh, Hyper-V, and also KVM. Uh, so it works on those hypervisors. Small text here, uh, but it's based on Ubuntu servers, as I said before. Um, mostly because, I mean, if you want to learn Linux, uh, my opinion is that Ubuntu con uh, contains, like, uh, yeah, it's easy to learn Ubuntu, uh, I would say. And there's a lot of, like, if you Google, uh, you can find a lot of information about uh, Ubuntu online. Uh, so I chose that rather than choosing a, a smaller distro uh, because it's easier for newcomers to, to learn Linux, which also is like one of the goals uh, with the VM, uh, to, to make people more interested in Linux and, and to learn Linux as well. Uh, it runs on Apache, PHP, FPM, um, PHP 7.2, Postgres, uh, Redis memcache, and I also use uh, ZFS for the data store. Uh, so the, the, the main OS is on a disk, which is on X4, and then you have ZFS for uh, data store, uh, because of multiple reasons. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I think it's safer or better to, to run uh, ZFS for data. You also have snapshot capabilities and stuff like that. Uh, with ZFS, which you don't have with X4, as far as I know, anyway. Uh, Let's Encrypt is also included, and uh, I would say it's a full-blown production environment. Uh, several companies around the world use it today. Uh, on from GitHub, it's been downloaded like 30,000 times or something like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't keep track uh, of how many times it's been downloaded from my own site, but um, several thousands anyway. So. The future, uh, I will keep maintaining it, of course. I mean, that's what I do. Um, I will try to improve and add new features. Um, I'm, I'm mostly myself doing this, so I don't have any uh, anyone to help me. So uh, as, as much as time allows, I will try to, to like uh, make it better. Um, I also want to make the build process easier. Uh, right now, I do uh, every release manually, so I um, like I have a base VM and then I do all the different versions, which takes forever. So it would be nice if someone here uh, or yeah, so would uh, would be able to help me with that because I'm not so good in in Vagrant. Uh, so you're welcome to help me. And also uh, maybe I will uh, do some more uh, collaboration with uh, some heavier bash projects uh, in Nextcloud as well. Um, and who am I? <laughs> so I'm always rooted at localhost, of course. Um, I run a company, uh, which is TNM uh, Hanson IT, 
uh, where from where I like su give support uh, around the, ne the Nextcloud VM. Uh, I also help uh, people uh, like installing Nextcloud and um, yeah, stuff like that. I've been a community member since 2013 uh, in OwnCloud then and, and uh, in Nextcloud since 2016. Uh, and uh, for my full time work, I work as a sysadmin in Malmö. So that was my speech. I hope you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions, or like, do you wonder anything about ne the next uh, next word in general, or, or so? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, since you're talking about vagrant and all that, have you also looked at maybe uh, you? Sorry, I can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. Yeah, so you you, so you said about uh, looking at vagrant and like. Yeah, VM. exactly. Yeah. Have you also so looked at something like Terraform that can you also do, uh, uh, like uh, orchestration based on bare metal uh, hardware as well? No, I didn't even know that that existed, so no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but you're welcome, very welcome to help me if you want. <laughs> Any more questions? Is there anyone here that doesn't know what Nextcloud is, by the way? I mean, yeah, okay, so everyone knows, good. <laughs> How do you test these uh, virtual images? Like, do you test them yourself? Do you have I a test team them of helpers? Yeah. I, I don't have any written test for it, um, but I mean, since I've been doing all the lines and like everything, I know the VM inside out, and I, I like test different scenarios, like uh, for instance, uh, if the network is down, what happens then, you know, Bash is very simple, you know, you tell the computer what to, d what to do and it does exactly that, so all the tests that I do, I do myself, which also takes a lot of time actually. So I would like to thank you and, and yeah. actually open up for the next speaker. Okay. Because we, we have a tight yes. schedule, yeah, so this is yes. one of the tighter slots. But thank you very much. Thank you.